So I came across this story today on my subreddit. Uh, the title of this particular post on my subreddit over at r slash distrotube, the title reads, Getting Railed for Using a Video to Install Arch. So I'm not going to read the whole post here, but he writes that he downloaded the March ISO of Arch Linux and he installed it in a virtual machine. And he installed it using DT's older install videos, which were about two years ago. So the last time I did a Arch Linux installation on camera, as far as the full installation, reading the wiki, was about two years ago. But that video is still relevant today. It still includes all the steps to install Arch Linux. So He's followed my video and he's installed Arch at least once, maybe multiple times, I don't know, in virtual machines, maybe even on physical equipment. And he was over on the Arch Linux subreddit over at r slash Arch Linux. And someone, I guess, was asking about how to uh, install Arch Linux as far as, you know, he didn't want to just use the wiki and the guy suggested hey go watch dt's videos the the, the dt uh, arch linux installation video just follow that you'll be fine and he got a lot of backlash from that <laughs> from him suggesting to go watch uh, a video of an arch linux installation rather than telling someone to go read the effing manual right go read the wiki if you're not installing arch linux the arch way by reading the wiki you're doing it wrong and the author of this post, he goes on to write, yeah, it's a great document, the Arch Wiki, but I also think it's missing some steps. Some of the things DT did in his video are not on today's wiki, but I think DT was reading from the wiki while doing that installation. So in the last couple of years, they have changed the wiki, I think, and removed those steps. So the wiki is a living document. It's constantly being changed. People are adding stuff, deleting stuff. So wikis do change. As far as me doing extra steps on my installation videos, yeah, because... The Arch Linux installation, the, the guide on the wiki, is just that. It's a guide, but it's kind of a basic format, a basic template, a basic guideline to follow. Because Arch Linux is designed for you to install Arch Linux in whatever manner you so choose as far as you format the disk using whatever tool you want to format the disk with. Uh, they suggest FDisk, but in my videos, some of my videos, I use CFDisk, but you could use CGDisk or FDisk or Parted or, you know, whatever it is you want to use. Uh, again, the wiki reads one thing, but that doesn't mean there's not 10 other ways you could also accomplish the same thing. So that's why in some of my videos, I do different things than what's in the wiki because they're using tools I'm not familiar with, or they're suggesting tools to use that I'm not familiar with. So I use the tools that I'm familiar with. And sometimes I add extra steps that I think are important. Like I know, like the networking issue. So many people have problems, especially with Wi-Fi, if you're installing on laptops. And a lot of times I cover things, uh, extra steps that are not really mentioned in the Arch installation wiki, such as going ahead and installing Network Manager, because that really does kind of solve all of your networking problems, just installing that package. The author of this post, he goes on to write, seriously, I'm getting a little perturbed with the fellows over at r slash Arch Linux for dumping on content creators like DT and others who provide a valuable service to the Arch Linux community. Well, I would agree in that regard. I do think that in many ways we do provide a valuable resource of we're, we're valuable assets to Arch Linux, the Arch Linux community, and really just Linux in general. It's because we're actually helping people get through these installations, right? How many people do you think have probably installed Arch Linux by following along some of my videos? Hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands, I don't know. A lot of people have installed Arch Linux following along with my video. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Honestly, it's not necessarily a black and white uh, kind of issue. I can understand why the Arch Linux guys have problems with people following guides that are not official guides as far as it's not from their website. It's not instructions that they control, right? The wiki is theirs, but you know, the if you're following along a video from DT, or you're following an Arch Linux installation from a blog post, you know, that person could be giving you some very bad information. It could be outdated information. Now, is it wrong to install Arch by using a video or a blog as your guide? Well, for me, I would say no, it's not wrong as long as you understand the commands. The one thing I will stress, if you do not understand the commands that are being posted 
in that blog that you're reading, or if you don't understand the commands that DT is entering on his video, on his Arch installation video, that's a problem. If you don't understand every single command, you should go read the wiki, right? My video is to help speed up the process a little bit so you don't have to read as much, but I'm hoping you at least know what these commands do, right? So when I do the fdisk commands to partition the drive, you should know what those commands actually do. When I do the make file system command to make my file system, you should know what it does. Or when I install grub and then make the grub config, it's really important that you understand what that does. And the reason is sometimes you have to come back and do these steps again. Sometimes Linux installations, especially rolling release distributions like Arch Linux, sometimes they break. For example, Grub is a package that sometimes will break and you will have to go back and reinstall Grub and remake the Grub config just exactly the way you did in the original Arch Linux installation, assuming you did it the Arch way. If you've never run through an Arch Linux installation, you never entered those commands yourself and actually knew what those commands meant, then if you ever have to enter them down the road to fix a, a broken grub, for example, you're not going to know what to do. So I'm all for people following my videos to install Arch Linux or following articles and blogs to install Arch Linux, as long as you know the commands. Ultimately, though, you know, it's a good idea to always follow along with the Arch Wiki and to constantly go and search for things in the Arch Wiki. Anytime I, I have a problem I need to solve, or some, some topic about Linux that I don't know much information about, I go search the Arch Wiki. It's the best wiki for Linuxy information, right? And Arch Linux, the whole distribution Arch Linux is really designed to teach you. Arch Linux is not designed just to be another Linux distribution everybody installs and it's just a great distribution. It is a great Linux distribution, but really Arch Linux, I, I believe a primary purpose of Arch Linux, especially the way the installation is laid out, being a command line installation, it's designed for education, right? It's designed to actually teach you everything about Linux and you miss out on a big part of the whole reason to use Arch Linux if you just skip over that educational process. Now, of course, many Linux users don't actually want to learn about Linux. They just want to install an operating system and use it, and that's fine. If you want to install Arch Linux and you really don't want to learn anything about it, that's fine, but ask yourself this. Since Arch Linux is really meant to teach you about Linux, but you don't want to learn about Linux, why are you trying to use Arch Linux? Like you're kind of using the wrong tool for, for what you want to do. Why not install something like Manjaro or Arco or Garuda or Endeavor? All of these great Arch Linux base distributions that make Arch more user friendly, right? It's, it's much more a new user friendly Arch Linux base distributions rather than trying to use something that's much more deep, much more involved, and really is designed to make you have to learn and if you're not interested in it, again, you're probably installing Arch Linux for completely the wrong reasons. And it kind of sets you up for a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, because I, I see this all the time on distributions like Arch Linux, like Gen 2. These are distributions that are for much more advanced users. You know, they're a little deep, right? They're a little involved. You really got to get your hands dirty and get under the hood and do a lot of things at the command line with things like Arch and Gentoo. And there are way too many people that are using those distributions because I see them post on help forums, things like that. There are way too many people using things like Arch and Gentoo that really have no idea about Linux in general, right? Because some of these people just followed a guide. They followed a, a video, a DT installing Arch or DT installing Gentoo. They just enter the same commands. And at the end of the day, yeah, they're running Arch. They're running Gentoo, but they really don't know how to maintain it. They really don't know how to use it after the installation because the installation really is not the hard part about distributions like Arch or Gentoo. It's actually using it from that point forward. It's maintaining it, right? Because things will break how you fix them. And you're, you're going to be way behind the learning curve if you skipped over, especially that installation guide for distributions like Arch, for distributions like Gen 2. Now, that being said, I have noticed that Arch Linux, their community, they've kind of softened their stance a little bit on the whole idea of Arch should only be installed using the command line installation process, rating the Arch wiki, because now Arch Linux even has a easy installer. They have a guided installer called arch install all one word 
And it's pretty much like a, a standard Linux installation, like a incurses installer or whatever, where you just, you know, go through a menu system or whatever, you choose some things and boom, you're done. So even Arch now offers a way for people to quickly install Arch without having to go through the Arch wiki and, you know, learning how to partition the drives and all of that. Ultimately, I wouldn't let people on the internet, whether it be people in the Arch Linux subreddit or on Discord or IRC or wherever, you know, people on the internet are, are just going to act nasty sometimes. And, you know, why do some of these people in like the Arch forums, or Arch subreddit, why do they clown on people for you know, installing Arch the, the wrong way? Well, a lot of these people are just internet trolls. You, you find internet trolls everywhere on the internet. Arch Linux is no different, right? There's going to be some people that just hang out on these forums and these subreddits that just want to, to degrade other people. And, you know, you installing Arch, I guess, the wrong way gives them an excuse to be mean and nasty to you, right? And it, they do that because for whatever reason, their lives are kind of messed up in some way. They really kind of hate their own lives and they want to make other people feel miserable to maybe help prop themselves up in some way. There's a lot of damaged people out there in the world. This is not an Arch Linux problem, right? That's just the nature of society in general. And of course, that's the nature of the internet. So don't, don't let those kinds of people color Arch Linux, the community, the wrong way, right? They're, they're giving Arch Linux a, a really bad rep that I, I don't think it deserves. And of course, in every community, you've got your gatekeepers. Some of these people, some of these people that give you the RTFM and you didn't install Arch the right way, they're just gatekeepers because they installed Arch the, the Arch way back in the day, and they want to maintain their little special club. And if other people can install Arch in some other ways, maybe some easier ways, then it doesn't seem like they're as special. You know, they're, they're not as elite, right? And that is a problem for some people. But again, you have gatekeepers in every community. All in all, though, I don't think this is an issue. However you want to install Arch Linux, whether it be following the wiki, following one of my videos, following somebody's blog post, you make your own choices in that. The only thing I would say is if you're doing Arch the command line way, absolutely make sure you understand every command you entered during the installation. You should never enter a command at the command line if you don't know what that command does because potentially somebody could be posting something on the internet as an Arch Linux installation guide, but it's really damaging your machine or it's installing some kind of malware. You, you never know, right? You never know. So make sure you understand each and every command. Other than that, I don't care how you get Arch Linux installed. As long as you get it installed and you're happy, go with it. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe, James, Maxim, my homies, Too Bald, Matt, Mimit, Mitchell, Paul, Royal, Wes, Armor Dragon, Bash, Potato, Chuck, Commander, Ringery, George, Lee, Methos, Nate, Urian, Paul, Peace, Orchard, Door, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Deviler, Willie, and Zenibit. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this little rant about installing Arch Linux the Arch way, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.